right, we want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Bashem. Bashem. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Bashem. Bashem. Rakal. Rakal. Kadash. Kadash. Double honor to the apostle and elders of Great Millstone, rule well, and peace and salutations to the house of David. All right, this is the brother Yitazakah. And uh, I want to entitle this lesson, uh, or we want to entitle this lesson somewhere on the lines of uh, um, Yah Shai was the first, uh, so to speak, uh, real one, you know, uh, or in, in uh, how niggas would say he was the, uh, he, 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 he was a real nigga, you know what I'm saying? Not, not uh, putting nothing uh, on his name, uh, not, not saying our Lord was a nigga. You know what I'm saying? For for anybody who, you know, wanna just jump to conclusions. But just in uh like nigga terminology, you know what I'm saying? They would say I'm a real nigga or you know, he a real nigga. Well yeah, how was that was the realest, man. All right, he was the first real one. All right. So um I'm just gonna get some uh different accounts proving that our Lord Yahweh was shy was the realest and he's he he's he's the true real one, you know. This uh St. John chapter 15, verse 13. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You got it, bro? Yeah, kind. So, it says, greater love have no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends, man. All right? And that's what Yahweh Shai did, did for uh, his, 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 his brothers, man. All right? His, his fellow brother and his... His uh his his daily delight his th those elect men you know, well ultimately he did it for the whole nation of Israel he laid down his whole life man, you know, which the nation of Israel ultimately delivered our Lord up to be crucified but he still and he knew that his own nation was gonna sell him out and uh you know um you know ask for him to be put to death you know uh plead for him to be put to death you know but throughout knowing that. His own nation was going to turn on him like that, you know, and that, you know, his his own people wasn't deserving of his life. He still, throughout that, gave up his life, you know. So there's no greater love than that. There's no greater love than our Lord Yahweh Shah laying down his life for the whole nation, you know. And, you know, niggas ain't, niggas, niggas can't even lay down their life uh, for the Lord uh, spiritually and mentally. You know, they can't even, like, put off their old man, you know, or, you know, give up some of the things for the world, for our Lord, Yahweh Shai. He laid down his whole life, man. All right, so no, nobody got greater love than, you know, Yahweh Shai. Niggas, niggas, niggas in this world, just niggas in this world, period, they not sacrificing their life for no one else, man. <laughs> I mean, it, it might be a few accounts, but that's not, that's rarely going to happen, you know. Um, let me grab this. Salak your brothers, the brother. Um, Salak your brothers, um, Satan. Um, I'm gonna jump here though. This, uh, Sirach chapter 6, verse 8. For some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of trouble, you know. So it says, For some man is a friend for his own occasion, which you know, uh, in this world, you got so-called real niggas, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll be real with you and be a real nigga only according to their own occasion, you know. But in the time of trouble, they they not going to buy it. But our Lord, Yahweh Shai, he was a, a, a real a real nigga no matter what the season was, so to speak, you know, a, a so to speak real one. Let me just say real one. He he, he was a real one no matter what. He, he was a real friend. In a in, in a real brother, no matter what, even to the to the point of uh, you know uh, being crucified and suffering a horrible horrible death, the worst death known to man. You know he abided, uh, he abided in that for his for his friends and his brethren until the end, man. You know, so that's 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 the realest friend, the realest that's that's real as it gets. You know. Let me get uh. So rock fourteen and thirteen. It's uh so rock chapter fourteen verse thirteen. Do good unto thy friend before thou die, 
and according to thy ability, stretch out thy hand and give it to him, you know. And that's why our Lord Yahweh Shai did, you know, like, uh, he, he did good. He did good unto his friends and to his brother before he died. You know, before he died, he made sure the disciples and the uh, multitude had received his word, had received the gospel. You know, he gave them everything he had, you know, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to, you know, well, he, he actually left us with spiritual gifts. You know, he gave us Luke the 10th chapter to tell you about how he gave us power to tread on scorpions, you know, and, uh, you know, he gave us power to, you know, um, you know, over, over all the enemy, just roughly paraphrasing. So he gave everything he gave. He gave us all the tools that it would take to be able to uh, connect with the Heavenly Father, you know. And it says, in accordance to thy ability, scratch out thy hand and give it and give to him. So our Lord, you have a shot. He, 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 you know, like in this world, you know, somebody might have riches and they put their mans on and they get him. Now, now he got some bread, you know what I'm saying, where he on now. You know, but they, it's only so far they'll go, you know what I'm saying. They're not going to uh, give them everything. They're not going to break complete bread with them. You know, our Lord, Yahweh Shah, he broke bread to the to the T. You know, like, shit, anything I could do, you could do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything I got, you got it, you know. And that's that's real shit. It don't get realer than that, you know. You you got you got preset, bro. Matthew's twenty nine and twenty six. So Matthew twenty nine and twenty six. This uh, let's lock it. This definitely not. Twenty nine and twenty six. Twenty nine, twenty six. Uh, I I don't think it's uh twenty nine chapters. I think it's twenty eight. Uh, twenty six, twenty six, twenty nine. Twenty six. Twenty nine. That that's the spirit. I was going here next, but <laughs> not not to this particular verse. But I was going to this chapter. Um, this Matthew chapter twenty six verse twenty nine. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. And that's the real one right there. He said he ain't gonna drink again until until basically he, he with all his uh his boys again. He said I ain't gonna drink again. And we know Yahweh said he fucked with the wine. We already know that for a fact. And he said, I ain't even going to touch it again until we all, we all appear to the end. We all in, we all in uh, the ruler seat. I ain't going to take another drink. And that's the real one right there. Because I ain't see basically saying like, yo, I ain't going to be. Because that's what uh, niggas in the world do. They, uh, all they worried about is their, their, uh, their, their, and their immediate family. And once they good, they figure they good. They, they, uh, they so-called made it. Fuck everybody else. Yahweh Shah said, I ain't gonna be cool until all y'all with me. Until all my boys are here. I ain't gonna be cool. That's the next time I'm gonna take a drink. Because there's everybody here with me. Ah, hey, that's real as it gets. That's real as it gets. Hold on one second. Come. Select like you. Select like you, bros. Um, I'm gonna jump down to, um, uh, I got a few more, uh, counts. In this same chapter, I wanted to get this uh, Matthew chapter 26 and verse 21. It says, and as they did eat, he said, verily, I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. What's well, so it like? Let me jump down. Hold on. Let me go to 38 first. So like you brothers for that. Let me go here first. It's Matthew chapter 26, verse 38. Then said he unto them, my soul is exceedingly so like it is exceeding sorrowful even unto death tarry ye here and watch with me you know so our lord yahweh shai you know he knew that he was finna you know get put to death man he was gonna suffer uh you know a, a horrible grievous death man you know and he, he he knew it was coming you know like he knew you know how harsh it was gonna be you know and um 
let's read verse 39 it says and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying oh my father if it be possible let this cup pass from me nevertheless not as i will but as thou will so uh our lord yahweh shah he knew that uh he knew that the the he, he knew that this was going to happen. He prayed to our Lord. Or he prayed to the Heavenly Father, you know, if, if if it was possible for him to let this cup pass from him, you know. And he said, not not as I will, but as thou, thou will. But, you know, we know that uh, if you keep reading down, pretty much our, our the Heavenly Father didn't answer our Lord, Yahweh Shai. But even through that, him praying, you know, for the cup to pass from him, if possible, you know, he... You know he still endured it. You know that's hey that's that's real shit right there, man. That's hey that's solid. You know, and then I'm gonna read forty. He said, and he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep, and said unto Peter, What could Jay not wait, not watch with me one hour? So our Lord Yahweh was kind of like, you know, he was kind of pissed off a little bit, like man, you know, like damn man, I hear that I'm finna I'm finna die for y'all, man, y'all, you know, y'all my brothers, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna. Go, you know, suffer the worst death known to man, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know I'm finna go out, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all couldn't just stay up with me. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, we know the Heavenly Father, you know, he put the spirit on them to stay asleep, you know, because it was all part of, you know, uh, the, the Lord's will, you know. But that's that's real, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, a man of this world, you know, you know, you finna go, you finna go down the road, go to prison or somewhere, you finna you know, you finna go do some, go through some hard shit, and you with your brothers or your, or your, your, your partners, you gonna be like, man, hey, y'all, y'all chill with me, man, you know what I'm saying, cause tomorrow I'm gonna be gone, you know what I'm saying, like, you gonna, if they don't chill, you gonna feel some type of way, you know what I'm saying, you might stop fucking with them, like, man, them ain't my partners, you know what I'm saying, but throughout that, he still dealt, he still went to, went up for, you know, and, and, and dealt with what he had to deal with, you know, Let's uh jump to fifty three. This uh verse fifty three, it says, Matthew twenty six and fifty three. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Father and He shall presently give me more than twelve legions of age angels? But how then shall the Scriptures be fulfilled that thus it must be? You know, so our Lord Yahweh said these these. Guys, you know, they, they, they're these Roman centurions, you know, these uh Roman officials, you know, they coming up to our Lord, grabbing them up, snatching them up, you know, uh, you know, uh, thinking they can do them any kind of way, talking shit to them, you know, he, he pretty much like, hey, you know, you, you don't think I could call down 12 legions of angels right now and get you niggas fucking wiped down, like you wiped out right now, but. He, he he didn't he didn't do it why? Cause he wanted he want he he cared about his nation he cared about his brother he, he was real man all right he was one thousand bro he, he he didn't care about his own accord he he didn't put his own self over his brothers and his nations man you know and like we brought out in the first verse that Saint John fifteen and thirteen greater love have no man than this that he lay down his life for his friends and that's what he was doing man you know it don't get no realer than that. I'm going to jump back to 21. This uh verse 21, it says, And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. You know? So it says, As they as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, one of you shall betray me. So our Lord, Yahweh Shad, knew that the ones he was breaking uh bread uh, out of the uh 12 disciples he was breaking bread with at, during the Last Supper. He knew one of them was going to betray him. He knew one of them was going to trade on him. He was going to turn on him. All right. But he still broke bread with him. All right. And still, um, and still ate with him. You know, man, what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of, uh, resilience and, uh, you know, suffering and, and, you know, uh, realness you got to have in you to do that, man. You know, you, you know, you know, somebody standing next to you is, is a traitor, man. You know, they gonna trade on you. They gonna turn on you and you still, you still rock with them and still show them love, man. All right, even to the point 
where you know they, they they finna turn on you soon, like right after this, and you still you still eat with them and break bread with them and show love to them, man. Hey, man, that come on, bro. You know that's hey that's hey that's that's amazing, bro. Well, well, I was just thinking about it. Me and you, we know a high level super witch ass nigga running around, but shaking in his blood, <laughs> and we pretty much are letting that shit rock. But y'all yeah, would deal with it. John, John, bro, John. I ain't gonna say who it is, but we know who it is. John, bro, that's right. You know why? Cause. Prophecy got to be filled, fulfilled, you know. You know that it's going to be the son of perdition out here, you know. Our Lord, you have a shot deal with it, so, you know, we got to deal with it. You know, and that's, that's what make you a real one, just like our Lord, you have a shot. You know, we follow him behind his, his footstep, you know, because he, he the real definition of a real one, man. It don't make you a real one just because you got, you know, money, cars, and prestige in this society, and people acknowledge you as real in this society, you know, because you'll bang a gun for your partner, you know, you'll do a, take a, take a jail sentence for your, for your partner or something, you know, they don't, they don't make you a real one, you know. You had a precept, bro? Yeah, I think, uh, Matthew 25 reported. Matter of fact, 18 and 6. 18 and 6. Oh, yeah, come on. Eighteen and six. It's at this Matthew chapter eighteen verse six. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. That's a gangster right there. He said, "Anybody fuck with any of my boys." You better off killing yourself, because when I get my hands on you, oh, man, when I get my hands on you, <laughs> fuck that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. He had the right thoughts. When he hung himself, he had the right thoughts, because he already <laughs> knew what it was there for. Yeah, God, God, God. Yeah. Hey, that's, hey, yeah, he, hey, well, he was with, he was with Yahweh Shah when he was speaking these words, you know, so... You know he or he, you know he 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 knew how he knew what kind of uh man our Lord Yahweh Shai was. He was like, yeah, I ain't trying to deal with that. I'd rather just go kill my own self. <laughs> He's smarter than a lot of these niggas out here today. I tell you that. Kind, kind, kind. Uh, you said what was the other one you said, bro? I think it's uh, Matthew twenty five forty. Matthew twenty five. 40. It's Matthew 25 and 40. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. And, that's, and it's going to be two people who are going to hear that. You're going to have the people on the left hand side who hear that, and then they're going to get destroyed because they disrespect them. The men of y'all bashing me on shot because you can have you got you got men in the truth right now. This person is a true doctrine, and they disrespect other men in this truth and this walk because of rank, because of pride, because of uh, I mean those are the things right there: rank, pride, um, being worshippers of men, and they're gonna. Shah, he a real one, you know, he a real one, like, so, yeah, how Shah said, if you fuck, you fuck with my man, you fuck with me, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and you you don't want to fuck with Yahweh Shah, what, what it say, the day of vengeance burn up in his heart, you know, 
I said nothing. I got 50 cents on Rennie, man. I've been waiting to murder this clown. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. Um, let me get this in St. John 10 and uh, 15. This St. John chapter 10, verse 15. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Yeah, so it says, uh, select you, bro. Oh, hold on, select you. Select your brothers. Um, I'm gonna read verse 15 again. It says, uh, St. John chapter 10, verse 15. As the Father know of me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. So, our Lord Yahweh Shah said, Look, I, I know the Father. You know, so, you know, uh, and so the Heavenly Father, you know, he uh, sent me, you know, uh, and, and I know him. All right, well, I'm going to lay down my life so y'all can know the Heavenly Father, too, you know? Like, I ain't know, you know, because you got, you got niggas out here who be thinking, like, you know, uh, well, uh, you know, well, I, 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 you know, you can go, they can go straight to your Howell type. Like, I can go straight to the most high. Like, I, I don't need, uh, the Lord, your house high. But our, the Heavenly Father, He don't know everybody. He, you, you, the only way you can find out and know the Heavenly Father, your Howell, is through our Lord, your house high. You know, so our Lord, but they ain't like our Lord, your house high on some funny style shit where He just like, yeah, I know the Heavenly Father, but you don't, ha, <laughs> nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like he he owes some shit like shit. I know the heavenly father, but I'm gonna lay down my life so you can know him too. You know. Uh, let me see, bro. If I can read, man. Um, let me see. Let me see. Okay, yeah. Let's read down a little bit more. This is verse sixteen. It says, "And other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring." And they shall hear my voice, and there sh shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doth my father love me, because I lay down my life that I might take it again. You know? So, that's that's why the Heavenly Father uh, dealing with uh, Yahweh Shah so much, because he, he laid down his life for his brethren, man. You know? And that's because he a real one, you know? So that's that's what it's all about. It's about laying down your life, man. You know, that's what make you solid, man. That's what that's what make you a real one. And our Lord Yahweh Shot, he was all about that. That's why he uh was beloved of the Heavenly Father. You know, the only the only begotten son of the Heavenly Father, you know. Cause 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 the Heavenly Father, he uh laid he 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 uh laid down his his only begotten son's life, you know, uh for the nation and our and, and through his only begotten son, his his only begotten son laid down his only begotten he, he laid down his uh life, you know, for, for the nation. You know, just like in semblance to uh Abraham when he was gonna sacrifice his only begotten son, you know. This uh you got a preset, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right, select so like you. It's uh, Isaiah 53 and 7. It's Isaiah chapter 53, verse 7. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. You got it, bro? Yeah. Yeah, so it said he was oppressed and afflicted, but he opened out his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to the to the slaughter, but you know, in in the sheep before shearers to dumb, but he opened out his mouth. You know, so our Lord, you know, what I'm saying, even though he was going through all all this, getting spit on, getting mocked at, you know, getting laughed at, getting scorned, uh, he still didn't open up his mouth. He just sat there and took it, man. All right, he took it like how they say in his word, he took it like a G, you know. You got some, bro? Uh, Check this one. It's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. It says, For ye know the grace of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that 
though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, and that yea, through his poverty might be rich. You know. So it says, for uh, our, our Lord Yahweh Shai, even though he was rich, he became poor, that through his poverty we could be rich. So our Lord Yahweh Shai, he, he, you know, he was uh, he, he was uh, the heavenly Father's top man. All right, but he lowered himself down uh, to uh, these chains of darkness into, uh, you know, uh, pretty much the bottom of the toiling bowl, so to speak. Uh, so so we can so we can get a part of those riches too, man. They go back to uh that Sirach, the fourteenth chapter, like uh do do, um, uh before before you die, do for your uh brother, man, you know. And I got another precept on that too, unless you got something, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna get it. All right, kind. It's uh Ecclesiastes, cause it said uh Ecclesiasticus, so like yeah, the book of Sirach. He he said uh. He became uh he though he was rich he became poor so that we we can become rich through his poverty. So let's go here to uh Sirach twenty nine and ten. It says, Lose thy money for thy brother and thy friend and let it not rest under a stone to be lost. You know? So our Lord Yahweh Shah, he lost his money for his brother, man. All right, and his friend. He let it not rest under a stone to be to be lost, man. All right. You know, and, and and uh, that's that's even in the world. You know, you 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 you'll be considered a a a, a fuck nigga if you get some money. You know what I'm saying? You got all this money, but your partner's still living in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Or your your main man, they you got all this money, but you just leave your main man out there to just struggle, man. You know, the scriptures even speak about that. You don't supposed to do no shit like that, man. You know, and our Lord Yahweh Shai, he didn't he he, he didn't. He was rich, but he made himself poor. Why? For his brothers, man. You know? Didn't Cass do that shit to ARM? That's what they say. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's what they say, yeah. They, they be on his ass about that, you know? Even niggas don't even uh, let that shit rock. Right, right. That's how crazy it is. Even the, the grimiest niggas ain't even <laughs> that. That's what I'm saying. God, God. You know? This uh, Sirach chapter 37 verse 6 Forget not thy friend in thy mind And be not unmindful of him in thy riches You want to you get that bro? You got it Yeah say so forget not thy friend in thy mind And be not unmindful of him in thy riches So you know when you when you come up You you supposed to make sure your, uh, your, your peoples come up too man You know And, this, that's, and that's a key Trait that our Lord Yahweh Shah had, man. You know. Let's get this in Luke nine and fifty-eight. It's Luke chapter nine, verse fifty-eight. It says, "And Yahweh Shah said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds have the air. Birds and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have not where to lay his head." head. Yeah, so it says uh, the foxes have holes and the and the birds of the air have nests, but the son of man have not where to to lay his head. So our Lord Yahweh Shai, he didn't even have no certain dwelling place, man. He didn't have no, uh, you know, no continuing city. He didn't have no place where he felt like he was com uh completely welcome back. All right, but what well what's that scripture that say, you know, pretty much uh, a prophet is not welcome in his own city, man. You know, so our Lord Yahweh Shai, he he wasn't welcome here, man. Uh, he ain't had nowhere he could just be like, yeah, this is my spot. I'm going to go here and kick it. You know, I'm going to lay my head down. You know, even the fox, foxes got holes they can go sleep in. Even the birds got, uh, you know, uh, nesting in, in, in tall trees that they can go uh, regroup at and chill at. You know, even ants got ant beds. You know, but our Lord, you have a shot. He didn't have that, man. You know. Let's get this in. Romans 8. 17 this is Romans chapter 8 verse 6 17 it says and if children then heirs heirs of Yahweh and joint heirs with Hamashiach if so be that we suffer with him that we 
may be glorified also together, you know. So, you know, it's, it's, it's certain brothers that might not have, you know, uh, you know, uh, certain dwelling places or, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, somewhere they can call home and this and that, you know. But 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 guess what? As 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 uh, the, uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai is an heir set set to receive, uh, and because an heir is someone set to receive an inheritance, and our Lord Yahweh Shai is set to receive the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, and through that, you know, through through that, you know, he gave up, uh, he gave up all that 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 glory to come down here, and you know, pretty much. Not, not have nothing not even have nowhere to lay his head you know but if we sacrifice the same thing like our lord yahweh shah did you know we we gonna receive uh the kingdom of heaven as well so we may not have you know somewhere we can we can call uh a continuing city here but ultimately we got a king uh uh a, a, a continuing city uh with our lord yahweh shah like it says uh i think it's in first corinthians the fifth chapter when it say if our earthly house be dissolved, well, let me get it real quick. Let me get that one real quick. First Corinthians five. Is it? Was it Second Corinthians five? I think it's Second Corinthians five. It's lucky. This uh Second Corinthians five and one. For we know that if our earthly house of this tab tabernacle were dissolved, which it is, we have a building of Yahweh. By Shem Yahushai and house not made with hands eternal in the heavens, you know. So, if if uh our earth, earthly house uh be devolved, we we know we have a spiritual building and a spiritual house in the heavens eternal with our Lord Yahushai, man. You know why? Because uh if if he's become an heir unto the heavenly Father, you know, set to receive the kingdom of heaven, we we're gonna be joint heirs with our Lord Yahushai, Mashiach, Lord willing, we those. We those brethren and those beloved, you know. Um, you got any, bro? You got it. Okay, I got a few more then. You know, we can wrap it up. It's uh Saint John chapter fourteen verse two. It says, "In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you." Sean, he going, he, he preparing a place for, uh, for us right now, and that's going to be uh, all the uh, all the planets we going to get, all the planets we going to inhabit, all the uh, everything getting prepared, the, the bodies we going to get, no eyes to see, because because he's the architect, he's uh, he's the architect, and you know he probably up there working on the body, like yeah, yeah, add that on there, add that on there, yeah, 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 get that on there, we need those. Oh, yeah, definitely want to throw that in there. Definitely want to throw that in there. Yahweh Shah is getting everything prepared. What does a good host do? A good host is basically going to welcome you in and get you uh, completely, um, basically have you feel at home. That's what a uh, good guest is going to do. That's what Yahweh Shah is doing right now, preparing everything for us so that when we see it, basically, we gonna, it's going to be it's gonna be nice. It's going to be nice. God. This, for you too. this Matthew chapter 19 verse 29 it says and everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life yeah, bro. yeah so and they, they go into them planets you know, they're going to that place that's prepared for us. You know, they, they're they going to uh, the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, they, the, those, those who uh, forsake, you know, uh, uh, prosperity in this world momentarily for uh, eternal uh, prosperity with our Lord. You have a shot. They're going to receive a hundredfold, man. You know, and, they, and they're, going, they're, they're going to those many mansions, man. They're going to that place that's prepared for us, man. You know. John 14 and 12. This St. John chapter 14, verse 12. It says, 
Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. So, not only did our Lord Yahweh say, you know, uh, you're going to be able to do the works that I do if you believe on me, but, you, but you're going to be able to do greater works than I do, all right? You're going to be able to do greater works than I do, man. All right, so our Lord Yahweh he all about showing love, man. He all about being real, man. He like, man, look, I can do this, man, but I'm going to go to the Heavenly Father so you you can do more than even what I was doing, man. You know, <laughs> that's beautiful, man. Don't even, don't even want the action. Con. <laughs> Con, bro. That's right. You know, he's just like, long as we win, I don't care, you know. Con. This, uh, St. John chapter 7, verse 34. The son of man is come eating and drinking, and yea, say, behold, a gluttonous man and a wine bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners, you know. So, uh, Yahweh Shai, he, he, he was 1,002. He was kicking it with the so-called undesirables, the ones that pretty much, you know, the, the, the publicans and the sinners, man. Uh, he was showing love to, to, to you know, uh, to all, man. He wasn't, like how they say in this world, you know, uh, only God can judge me and don't be so judgmental. Where our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, he wasn't just judging you just off your outward appearance. He, he wasn't judging you just 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 to judge you man you know he wasn't judge you off the terms and the basis of this world man you know he was he, he was giving everybody a chance man you know and just not just like now they look at the man of the lord like yeah these niggas man they ain't they ain't nobody's man you know man these niggas ain't got nothing shit they, they ain't popping man you know but that's that's who you have a shot fuck with what are these niggas right here these niggas they they was gang bangers. They was thugs. They was trappers. They was pimps. They was fucking coons in the world. They was fucking athletes, man. These niggas ain't nothing, you know. That's that's we we consider it to like the publicans and the sinners. How can these niggas be man of the Lord? He so the Lord fucking with them. Yeah, right. God. You know. Let's get this. It's uh First Timothy, chapter one, verse nine. It says, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons. And if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. Got it, bro. Yeah, so it say the, the law the law is uh not made for a righteous man. It's made for the uh the lawless, the disobedient, the ungodly, you know, the murderers of fathers, you know, the whoremongers, you know, liars, perjurers, you know, those who are uh, adverse to the doctrine of Yahweh Shimi Al Shah. That's what our, that's 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 who uh what the law was made for and our lord yahweh Shah said he did not come to destroy the law but fulfill the law man all right and the law was 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 made uh to to be fulfilled within those who you would uh cast off as publicans and sinners man all right and our lord yahweh Shah was a thousand why because he didn't turn he didn't turn his nose up at at, at, at those people man all right he 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 showed love to him man even the uh even the uh woman, uh, even the woman with the uh, with the uh blood disorder, you know, she 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 could have probably you know been been out there being a harlot, being a freak, you know, but she had faith in our Lord Yahweh Shai and touched his garment. He said that was whole, man, you know, or the other uh the other uh female who they tried to uh get st uh who the wicked uh scribes and Pharisees tried to get stoned. I think that was in Saint John the ninth chapter. Or uh Saint uh it could have been uh Saint John the seventh chapter. I think it might have been Saint John nine. But they tried to uh get get the uh woman stoned saying she committed adultery, you know what I'm saying? But 
our Lord Yahweh shout, you know, he was like, nah, man, like, you know, we ain't just gonna put her to death just because you say she's an adulteress, man. You know, even though they was, they didn't go through the right terms of how you supposed to uh do that, you know, but still he didn't just look down upon her. You know, our Lord Yahweh shout was about showing love, man. You know, he, he was being real, man, you know. This uh Hebrews twelve and verse one. I mean verse two. It says, Looking unto Yahweh Shah, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest they be weary and faint in your minds. It says Ye have not resisted unto blood striving against sin, you know. So, ain't, ain't nobody resisted uh, unto blood except for our Lord Yahweh Shah, you know. <laughs> resisting against sin, resisting against uh, temptation, resisting against uh, evils, man. You know, our Lord Yahweh Shah did that, man. Hey, that, that makes him the first real one, man. All right, that make him the realest, man, you know. And this is the last one, unless you got one, bro. Nah, I was going to say, yeah, but then we, we following in his footsteps. And those people be like, Yahweh Shah told, uh, told the mother of the two boys, or the two men, that just like he drank at a cup, we wanted to drink at a cup as well. Huh. That's so right. So we wanted to go through those same thing. That's right, bro. That's right. And this is the uh, last yeah, one. I'm, yes, kind. Yeah, definitely now. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Shout Lord Yahweh Shah. He didn't get no free pass into the kingdom. <laughs> yeah, he the real, the, the, the first one? Yeah, God. He made everything. <laughs> right. Right. This, uh, this last precept. This, uh, First Peter chapter 3, verse 22. Who is gone into heaven on and is on the right hand of Yahweh? Angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. <laughs> they go with exactly what you were saying, bro. John. <laughs> you got it, bro. Yeah, so he, you know, angels, authorities, powers, they was made subject unto him. Yahweh, our Lord Yahweh Shah actually created these spirits, man. You know, he actually created uh uh these thrones, these authorities. He, he actually was... Uh, created to sit on the right hand of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. But still, he didn't get no free pass into the kingdom of heaven, man. You know? So, we, we got to go through the same thing, man. All right, if we, if, if, if we acknowledge, if we, especially if you acknowledge to be a real one, or uh, a, a, a real, a, a real man, you know, a, a real uh, servant, you know, a real one, hey, you, you, you got to uh, be willing to go through the same thing, God, Lord. Yeah, I wish I went through to, you know, be uh be the first real one, you know. God. But yeah, that's that's it, bro. You had anything else? Uh -huh. Well with that, we wanna give our praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba Shem. Ba Shem. Yahweh Sha. Yahweh Sha. Ba Shem. Ba Shem. Recall. Recall. Kadash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders, Great Millstone, rule well, and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the elect.